Dear reader, today I want to tell you something about my past. It's not often that people talk about such things, but I feel it's important. I am a 29-year-old single woman living in Kenya, and I work for the government of Kenya. For a long time now, I haven't wanted to have children. I just never felt like being a mother. But then, I found out two years ago that I was pregnant. I knew in my heart of hearts that I did not want to have children. Not then. Not now. Not ever. But I cannot say this out loud to my family or friends without being stigmatized. It is almost unthinkable that a woman would want to live the rest of her life without the ability to give birth. Due to my conviction that I was not ready to be a mother, and that I probably never would be, I sought out the help of a medical practitioner to perform an abortion. I walked away from his clinic with the feeling of relief, rather than guilt that most people talk about. I was relieved that I was able to get a safe abortion even in my restricted setting. I was relieved I did not have to bring a child into this world that I was not ready to take care of. Most people will try and guilt trip women who have abortions by saying that there are women who would like to be mothers but who aren't able to become pregnant. I feel their pain. But I honestly do not see how my being pregnant when I do not want to be would alleviate their plight. I hope that one day they will also understand my plight and respect my choices as I respect theirs to pursue fertility and motherhood. And now to you, how would it feel to be in my shoes? You are truly. Uh, I don't know, I, I just, I think I would follow my heart. I feel her. I'm sorry that you had to go through this alone and that you didn't have your friends and family there to support you. I really do not want to be in her shoes. <laughs> I, I would agree with her viewpoint because I think a woman does have a right to choose whether it's to have children and whether it's to not have children. I would, I would congratulate her. I mean, it's your life. You do you. It, you shouldn't let anyone define how you should live your life. Um, but I think in a place like Kenya where religion, um, you know, is something that exists in most people's lives, where, you know, there's a lot of traditional values that exist, abortion is stigmatized. Rather than being quick to judge, first we should, be, we should be able to understand the situation of the person. She was a lucky person to have a safe abortion and to do it in a good place, but a lot of women are not that lucky. Most of them are done quietly and shamefully because I, I have friends who've done abortions and they went to doctors who are not even known and they went to hospitals which are not even known. So you're not really sure if the abortion was done safely. Maybe if men were getting pregnant, maybe most we can, we can legalize it if men were becoming pregnant. You, you didn't come to the world to give birth. And kids doesn't make you a woman. Thank you.